Well, you talked about Manchester City, Pete, and the rumors continue to kind of circle on a lot of their players. Uh, Mateo Kovacic now being rumored to join Saudi League potentially in January on a massive wage package. Could you see him making that move in the in the January window? It would come as a surprise to me. I think if he was to leave Manchester City, I still think he's in the prime of his career. So why would he want to go to the Saudi Pro League right now? Uh, obviously, it will be a, a lucrative uh, financial package on offer for Kovacic and if that's what uh, he wants I'm sure he could uh, make that move to Saudi Arabia because Pep Guardiola has shown in the past he will not stand in anybody's way if they want to leave but I just think why would you want to leave Manchester City right now they're going to probably be looking at another treble this year if they can they'll be looking to get that Champions League title back if they can having uh, recrinted uh, their hold on it last year but I just think Kovacic right now, he's done a good job at the early part of the season. He was outstanding against his old club Chelsea on the opening weekend when he filled in for the missing Rodri. I still think he's got a huge role to play in this Manchester City team. Maybe the return of Ilkay Gundogan has uh, raised question marks over how much football he might get at City when everybody is fit and available. Uh, maybe that could push him towards the exit door as well, but I don't think Pep Guardiola will be looking to weaken his squad in January, especially if City are looking to challenge uh, on all fronts this season as well. So I don't think Pep will be too willing to let uh, a versatile player like Kovacic leave uh, in the January window. There's no way he's letting him go. No way he's letting him go. He started off, just looking there, he started all three games, hasn't he? I thought he did, but I've, I've looked at it now. Rodri, we've not seen Rodri this season. We know how important that, that Rodri is to Manchester City. Yes, with Gundogan coming back in, gives Pep another option. But that was a no-brainer signing to take Gundogan back into the squad. But he's not a replacement for Kovacic. Kovacic is a player who Pep values. And when Rodri doesn't play, he does a very, very similar job. Him and Rico Lewis have played in that holding midfield role. Kovacic more as a deeper one. I don't, I can't see that happening at all. I don't think there's any way that Pep lets him go. For sure. And Paul, if you were a player in the situation, Man City, obviously the 115 charges circulating, would you be thinking maybe to have your agent have a move potentially lined up for next summer? Do you think that's why we're hearing so many rumors this summer of players potentially leaving and, and some more surprising things? Obviously, Rodri to Real Madrid is one we've heard a it's bunch. A I think we're just in uncharted territory at the moment, aren't we? We've never seen a club with 115 potential charges. We're very unsure as to an outcome. We look at what's happened to Everton and Nottingham Forest, and then we look at what's happened to Leicester. So nobody can predict what's going to happen. We don't know the ins and outs of the, the Manchester City charging. We're starting to get more and more. But listen, I don't think that there's going to be a huge player exodus from Manchester City. I don't think Manchester City and Manchester City fans are too worried about these charges. The biggest worry for Manchester City and their fans is when Pep decides to leave. That's when you're going to see a, a huge change in guard. Not necessarily change in guard, but a change in personnel. You look at Pep leaves, Edison leaves, Kevin De Bruyne leaves, then all of a sudden you're ripping out a spine of a club that's been so successful. It's that next generation, it's the rejuvenation of that project. To me, would be more of a, a concern for Manchester City than these charges that are looming over them. I don't think players would leave. I mean, you look what's happened to, to other clubs that have points deducted off them. If the worst was to happen to Manchester City was to be relegated, we, we, you sit the players down and go, look, we're going to have a season in championship. We'll get out of this when we go again. And they've got a squad able to do that. For sure. I mean, imagine that Manchester City squad in the championship. Sure would be interesting 